On a weekly basis, we get emergency calls and patients are coming in and, and, and they're in pain and discomfort. Uh, we catch it at, at, if, they're, if they're ambitious enough to take action right away, we can get them comfortable just getting them on antibiotics because it's, it's, it's the, the increase of the infection and the inflammation within that closed chamber of the pulp of the tooth. It's like a pressure cooker, the pressure is going up. Well, you get the antibiotics going through, it's calmed down, you get them in a few days later and we start the root canal treatment, get that inflamed pulp out of there, get the, to get the root canal taken care of. Uh, sometimes, <clears throat> on emergencies that, that are not going to resolve easily uh, will disrupt the schedule somewhat, work them in, they may have to wait, but it, you know, we'll, we'll take care of what needs to be done if they're, you know, like if too cracked or split or something, uh, you know, we'll work that in that day, but we'll make sure that, that when they leave, they're going to be comfortable. If while they're waiting for the antibiotics, they'll have some pain pills to keep them comfortable for a couple of days while the antibiotic, antibiotics get to work, or if it's beyond that capability of antibiotics being to help, we'll make sure that, that, that they get cared for what needs to be done that day so they can sleep. They probably, what's, what's, what's interesting is how much people will Put off going to the dentist as 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 the problem gets worse and worse, and <laughs> you often wonder when they finally call. Is why didn't you call two or three weeks ago? <laughs> and they've been putting up with putting up with. It. <laughs> but hey, when they're when when they show up on the doorstep, we take care of them, make sure that they're going to have a good night's sleep that night.